Tonight, piercing criticism of the president by a fellow Republican. Senator Bob Corker tweeting, it's a shame the White House has become an adult daycare center. Someone obviously missed their shift this morning. Those sharp words, retaliation for President Trump's latest Twitter tirade, attacking Corker as a negative voice obstructing his agenda, and a coward who didn't have the guts to run for re-election. The president's budget director an hour earlier praising Corker. I think it's going to be fun to work with him, especially now that he's announced that he's not running for, uh, for re-election, because I think it sort of uh, unleashes him to do whatever he, and say whatever he wants to say. Corker, head of the powerful Senate Foreign Relations Committee, just days ago, taking this apparent swipe at the president's competence. I think uh, Secretary Tillerson, Secretary Mattis, and uh, Chief of Staff Kelly uh, are those people that help separate our country from chaos. Among the most urgent threats, North Korea. Kim Jong-un today touting his country's nuclear arsenal, hours after President Trump ominously warned only one thing will work with the rogue regime. What's the one thing that'll work with North Korea? Well, you'll figure that out pretty soon. The president making clear national security, not health care, is his top priority. I want to focus on North Korea. I want to focus on Iran. I want to focus on other things. I don't want to focus on fixing somebody's back or their knee or something. How did your house do? President Trump also dismissing criticism of his response to the hurricane in Puerto Rico, defending throwing paper towels to a crowd at a church. They had these beautiful soft towels. They said, throw them to me, throw them to me, Mr. President. And so I'm doing some of the... So the next day they said, oh, it was so disrespectful to the people. It was just a made up thing. As for President Trump's feud with Senator Corker, it could have dire implications for his agenda. The White House needs Corker's support on tax reform, on the future of the Iran nuclear deal, and potentially on a new Secretary of State if Rex Tillerson leaves or is let go. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.